but it's very important that other things also about his general life is very important okay right so already we talked about uh, 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 okay how many of you read this novel first tell me right at least in college okay how many of you have had it you know uh, dickens wrote a very famous novel like uh, david copperfield oliver twist nicholas nickleby or uh, this novel yeah great expectation tale of two cities okay little dorrit okay idella kandipa padikkuradhu chances irukku most of the time even pickwick papers so yeah he wrote 15 novels but at least adla oru 5 to 6 novels are very popular and remaining 3 4 are still more popular okay and and you know uh, right so remember that charles dickens was always very popular novel popular and greatness combined together like that of shakespeare okay so victorian age we already glanced at victorian age right the so called reform bills idalla me nam paathaach so at that backdrop keeping that in mind let's look at charles dickens the great expectation but still before that uh, you know uh, life of charles dickens so dickens was born in 1812 and died in 1870 right so his full name was charles john hoffman dickens born on 7th february 1812 and died on 9th june 1870 okay right he created some of the world's most memorable fictional characters and generally regarded as the greatest victorian novel right so one of the very famous novelist of the time so right most of his novel appeared between no 1833 la rendu 1870 varaikum okay so we we could say mid victorian time okay so the what we call mid or you know we age or you know early victorian we can say that okay so uh, compared to you know thomas hardy and others right those who came later during his life his work enjoyed unprecedented fame and by the 20th century his literary genius was broadly acknowledged and by many scholars dickens first published work appeared in 1833 34 so yeah so the first time we when he wrote one short story known as the boarding house okay published in a monthly magazine and what was the name right he wrote he used the uh, you know sud name bose right b o w b o z so in the name la the first time he wrote the single syllable name came from the childhood rendering of the character moses from irish writer oliver goldsmith 1766 novel the vicar of wakefield right and later he mentions that even in tale of two cities seri appo the name enga in the borrow pannanu right a similar character comes in oliver goldsmith oda novel right dickens sprang to fame with the 1836 serial publication of pickwick papers right so the first novel with dickens wrote was pickwick papers ya vachunga within a few years he had become an international literary celebrity famous for his humor satire and keen observation of character and society his novel most published in a monthly weekly you know serial installment pioneered the serial publication okay the serial publication a thodangi popularize panni profitable ar nadathnadu first time avarna seriya ipo inne irukla there are you know there are so many someone told me even tamil magazine irukke 15 days korvati apdiye and the story publish aitrukku 3 maasam 4 maasam 6 maasam and of course 20th century romba irundhirukku idellame thodangnadha and the time la da and the first one who made it quite profitable and you know famous one right and our imitate panni next 40 50 60 60 years idellame idha nadakkum seriya dickens was regarded as the literary colossal of his age okay right all the 15 novels established him as the giant of his period his 1843 novel a christmas carol is one of the most influential works ever written and it remains a very popular novel of charles dickens set in london and paris in 1859 his tale of two cities is the best selling novel of all time okay his creative genius has been inspired you know uh, praised by many writers including leo tolstoy george orwell gk chesterton right for his realism the realistic depiction of you know victorian social problem and the anga time ulla problem 1830s la ulla right appo and the time ulla enna enna problem think pandrukku konja social political life ah paakkanu adukku moda industrial revolution thodangu 1770 1780 onwards 17 you know 60 70 la right adoda effect innikku dhaan theriyum okay 50 60 years later got it and think of agrarian revolution right mass migration of people from in from rural area to towns அப்ப டவுனுக்கு மாஸ் மைக்ரேஷன் நடக்கையில இந்த ஐம்பது வருஷத்துல என்ன ஆச்சு இட் லெட் டு மெனி ப்ராப்ளம் சரியா ரைட் அப்புறம் அக்ரியன் ரெவல்யூஷன் சேஞ்சஸ் என்ன வந்து இண்டஸ்ட்ரியல் ரெவல்யூஷன் இங்க என்னென்ன நடக்குது ரைட் அப்ப பிக் கிரௌட்ஸ் வந்துடுறாங்க சிட்டிஸ் லைக் பெமங்கம் மேன்செஸ்டர் பிரிஸ்டூல் ஓகே அண்ட் ஆல் திஸ் பிகேம் த சென்டர் ஆஃப் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியல் ரெவல்யூஷன் ரைட் அப்ப இதோட 
repercussions romba irukku okay like for example you know social problems you know uh, um, orphans children illegitimate relationship you know poverty many other you know issues adellame charles dickens adile kandipa kaamichirpar right and his own life okay autobiographical kandipa irukku yana he himself had a similar life got it on the other hand writers like oscar wilde henry james and virginia woolf sometimes they complain of lack of psychological depth loose writing and saccharine sentimentalism the term dickensian is used to describe something that is emanation of dickens okay dickens sort of characteristics so yeah dickensian characters to na a poor social condition first thing okay now dickensian nam phrase use panna enna artho poor social condition comically repulsive character சரியா காமிக்கா இருப்பாங்க ஆனா ரிப்பல்ஸ் பிசிக்கலி பார்த்தாலே அப்படியே வெறுவெறுப்பா இருக்கும் அந்த மாதிரி கேரக்டர்ஸ் ஓகே அதோட ஃபர்ஸ்ட் புவர் சோசியல் கண்டிஷன் ஸ்லம்ஸ்ல இருக்குது புவர் கண்டிஷன் பண்றது ஆஃப் அன் ஏஜ் இல்லிட் மேஜ் சாப்பாடு கஷ்டம் பண்றது ரோட்ல தூங்குறது பெக்க மாதிரி வாழ்றது சரியா இதெல்லாம் அப்படியே வரணும் ஓகே டிக்கின்ஸ் இன்ஜின் ஏன்னா தெர் ஆர் ரைட்டர்ஸ்னும் அவங்களோட டேர்ம்ஸ் எல்லாம் வெரி ஃபேமஸ் ஆகி போச்சுல ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஏனோ காஃப்கஸ் காஃப்கேசியன் சுச்சுவேஷன் சொன்னா இன்னைக்கு இன்னைக்கு இந்த ஜெயில் ஜெயில் அண்ட் போலீஸோட ஸ்பிரிச்சுவாலிட்டி இருக்கையில அப்பப்ப அது யூஸ் பண்ணுவாங்க ஏன் இதெல்லாம் நியூஸ் பேப்பர்ல அப்பப்ப வரும் இந்த ஒரு ஒரு வாரத்துக்கு முந்தி கூட ஒரு ஆர்டிக்கல்ல ஒரு ஒரு வார்த்தை எழுதியிருந்தார் ஓகே காஃப்கா காஃப்கா அந்த மாதிரி சுச்சுவேஷன் தான் காமிச்சிருப்பாரு ட்ரையல் ட்ரையலே நடக்காம ஜெயில போடுறது நாட்டுல என்ன நடக்குது உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் ஜஸ்ட் கொஞ்சம் நியூஸ் பேப்பர் படிச்சு பாருங்க ஆர்வேலியன் ஆர்வேலியன் சுச்சுவேஷன் என்ன டெஸ்டோபியன் சர்வேலன்ஸ் ரைட் நைன்டீன் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ்ல நைன்டீன் எயிட்டி ஃபோர் நாவல்ல அவள் எழுதினார் நைன்டீன் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் சிக்ஸ்டில டிஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணது ஆர்வேலியன் ஆர்வேலியன் டேர்ம் ஆஃபன் யூஸ் பண்றாங்க இப்போ இன்னைக்கு திருப்பி யூஸ் பண்றாங்க இந்த சர்வேலன்ஸ் எப்படி நடக்குது எப்படி நம்மள யூனோ ஃபாலோ பண்ணிட்டு இருக்காங்க கவர்மெண்ட் எப்படி கண்ட்ரோல் பண்ணுது ஓகே திஸ் ஆல் திஸ் யூனோ எம்என்சிஸ் ஆல் திஸ் டெக் கம்பெனிஸ் வந்து எப்படி யூஸ் பண்றாங்க அவர் அன்னைக்கே ப்ரெடிக்ட் பண்ணாரு அவர் சொன்ன பத்து வருஷத்துல ரியா ரியாலிட்டி ஆயிடுச்சு இன்னைக்கு இந்தியா இஸ் கோயிங் த்ரூ ஆர் த வேர்ல்ட் இஸ் கோயிங் த்ரூ த சேம் வே ஓகே வென் விஸ் ஆர்வேலியன் கண்டிஷன் ஆஃப் டெஸ்டோபியன் சுச்சுவேஷன் ஓகே டிக்டோரியல் சுச்சுவேஷன் ஓகே அதே மாதிரி டிக்கின்ஸ் சொன்னா இது இதெல்லாம் மறக்கக்கூடாது எப்பவும் அப்படியே யாவோ வச்சிருக்காங்க in fact day to day conversation you must use it charles dickens was born on portsmouth england on february 7 1812 to john and elizabeth dickens he was the second of eight children his mother had been service to lord crew and his father worked as a clerk for a naval pay officer john dickens was imprisoned for debt when he was very young okay charles dickens went to work at blacking warehouse managed by a relative of his mother when he was 12 and his brush with hard times and poverty affected him very greatly and that is reflected in most of the novels seriya right charles dickens chinna pulla illa father irundadukaprom indha mari relative vittla vela paathadhu sore illama kashtapattadhu beg pannadhu education kedaikama so many difficulty neenga ella novel le paathirupinge okay whether neenga ella novel le irukku irukada irukave irukada seriya whether david copperfield la kandippa irukum oliver twist irukum nicholas nickelbay la irukum including our normal novel ni and the characteristics varum seriya He later encounters recounted these experiences in his semi autobiographical novel David Copperfield okay his masterpiece similarly the concern for social justice and reform which surfaced later in his writing grew out of this harsh condition yeah dickens was able to leave the blacking factory after his father released from the prison okay debtors prison right debt nale prison podrudu okay prison oda condition okay invariably mella novel la adoda conditions kaamichirpaaru got it and he continued his education at willington house academy although he had little formal schooling dickens was able to teach himself short hand and launch a career as journalist okay our most famous autobiographical novel david copperfield la ellame real ah apdiye irukum at the age of 16 dickens got himself a job as a court porter and shortly thereafter he joined the staff of a, a mirror of parliament a newspaper that reported on decisions of parliament during this time charles continued to read voraciously at the british library and he experimented with acting and stage managing amateur theatricals so yeah his experience act of acting would affect his work throughout his life he was known to act out characters he was writing in the mirror and then described himself as a character in prose of his uh, novel right in this way he started writing he was first act out what are the characters apra the depict pandrathu fast becoming disillusion with politics dickens developed an interest in social reform okay and began contributing to true sun a radical newspaper at the time his main avenue of work would consist of writing novel dickens continued his journalistic work writing many and even creating the starting a journal okay so what are the famous one the daily news 
household world and finally all the year round all the year round avare start panuvar okay almost 70% avaru in our play right like will be, uh, will keep colleagues his connection to various magazine and newspaper as a political journalist gave him the opportunity to begin publishing his own fiction at the beginning of his career he would go on writing 15 novels so yeah 15 novels and the last incomplete novel was the mystery of edwin drood so yeah which was left incomplete on his death right the last completed novel was our mutual friend okay while he published several sketches in the magazine it was not until he serialized pickwick papers the first newspaper first uh, novel he got success yeah and it was you know the more than 40000 copies sold at the time okay when it published it dickens was the first person to make serialization of novel profitable right and later others followed like thackeray george eliot and others within few years he was regarded as one of the most successful authors of his time with approximately one out of every 10 people in victorian england was reading his work so yeah in 1836 he also married catherine hogarth the daughter of a fellow co-worker of at his newspaper okay adeda even he would describe that how he married dora in in his novel the david copperfield so yeah and later after 10 children they would depart in the year 1858 got it okay right 1858 he will he will fall in love with you know he was working with wilkie collins in a play okay and later he will fall in love with a young girl and later he would marry her right oliver twist was Nic- uh, nicholas nickleby followed in a monthly installment right so the first novel was pickwick paper second novel oliver twist third was nicholas nickleby got it in 1843 he published christmas carol his disenchantment with the words economic drive is clear in his work he blames much of society's ills on people's obsession with earning money and acquiring status he traveled abroad in 1840 first to america and then to europe got it okay and that phase day new life in dickens uh, life in the david copperfield written in 1849 50 readers find the same flawed world that dickens discovered as a young boy Dickens published some of his best known novel including a tale of two cities and great expectation at the end of his life during weekly you know uh, periodicals the inspiration to write the novel set during french revolution came from dickens faithful reading of thomas carlyle's work french revolution okay french revolution or work 1839 la carlyle eldir par based on that he used to read that and based on that he wrote the novel the tale of a tale of two cities When Dickens acted in Wilkie Collins' play *The Frozen Deep* in 1857, he was inspired by his own role as a self-sacrificing lover. He eventually decided to place his own sacrificing lover in revolutionary period, a period of growth, great social upheaval. A year later, Dickens went through his own form of social change as he was writing *Tale of Two Cities*. Right at the time, he was separated from his wife, and later he wrote that work in *All the Year Round*. சரியா so wilkie collins or inspire right adey mari great period tremulous uh, you know social change or period on the french revolution time that's why for french revolution time la and the novel set panirpar 1775 lende uh, 1795 right so that was uh, you know tale of two cities dickens health began to deteriorate in 1860s in 1858 in response to his increasing fame he had began public reading of his work right that was also first one okay publica poi to you know different different tour panni novel read pandral seri so, yeah, today's authors they do that this extracted a great physical toll on him and immensely profitable but physically shattering series of reading in america in 1867 68 spread this decline and it collapsed during a farewell series in england on june 9 1870 charles dickens died he was buried in poets corner of westminster abbey though he left the mystery of edwin drood unfinished He had already written fifteen substantial novel and countless shorter pieces. His legacy is clear. In a whimsical and unique fashion, Dickens pointed out the society's flaws in terms of its binding greed for money and neglect of lower classes of society. Okay, though Dickens' novel continued to be read by large number of readers, his literary reputation was in its eclipse. There was a tendency to see his novel as appropriate for children and young adult. From 1880, though very clearly. right up to the 20th century yeah many of these russian writers those who admired him got it his preference is ironic because russian novelists both admired dickens and learned from him turgenev praised dickens work and even wrote dickens in dickens magazine okay household words dickens literary you know standard again began to 
you know, become popular in 1940s and 50s when George Orwell and Edward Wilson who called him the greatest writers of his time, right? Okay, and full length study by Humphrey House when he wrote the book, The Dickens World. Critics discover complexity, darkness, and even bitterness in his novels. And by 1960s, some critics felt that like Shakespeare, Dickens could not be classified into existing literary categories. So yeah, his work is too great in that sense, right? So in fact, after Shakespeare, we can say only writer who was both famous and very, very popular and famous and great also. So yeah, most of the time writers one popular are panga, relative only great are panga. So yeah, there are most of the English writers on the great. Yeah, our time la no yar me madche dil la, yaro parche dil la. So yeah, I take very very well known novels like you know all these right, whom I mention often, right? They were not at all popular. Okay, they were condemned. Got it. But after their death, they became you know classics and they became so popular. But there are very exception writers. Those who were popular also, very standard also. Got it. Sometimes those who become very standard, you know, very popular, they did not stood the test. You know, uh, you know, uh, stood the test of the time. So yeah. But Dickens won the charge Shakespeare or whatever. So yeah, both popular and great also. That this view of Dickens has incomparably continues throughout the uh, 20th century. Edgar Johnson expressed the prevailing 20th century view in his assessment of Dickens. Far more than a great entertainer, a great comic writer, he looks into the abyss. He's one of the great poets of the novel. Yeah, a genius of uh, his art, right? Throughout this book, we come to understand the virtues of lowering heart and a pleasure of home in a flawed, cruelly different, indifferent world. Among English writers, in terms of his fame and public recognition of his character and stories, he's second only to William Shakespeare. Okay, so the number of characters he created, different different characters, you know, in the, and all that, if we compare, only you know Shakespeare comes into our mind. Okay, so keeping that in mind, let's look at some of you know uh, the you know the final you know the novels of Charles Dickens, uh, Pickwick Papers, written in 1836, Oliver Twist's second novel, Nicholas Nickleby, 1838. Old Curiosity Shop, 1840; Barnaby Rudge, 1841; Martin Chuzzlewit, 1843; Dombey and Sons, 1846; David Copperfield, 1849; Bleak House in 1852; Hard Times in 1854; Little Dorrit in 1855; A Tale of Two Cities in 1859; Great Expectations in 1860; Our Mutual Friend, his last completed novel in 1864, and his incomplete novel. Okay, which was incomplete when he died in 1870. Yeah, the uh, the mysteries of mystery of Edwin Drood. Okay, right. So, Tale of Two Two Cities was written, you know, as a response to French Revolution. All right. Okay, Pickwick Paper was his first novel. Oliver Twist was written as a response to the Poor Law. Right. Martin Chuzzlewit was was Chuz Chuzzlewit was written, you know, when he came back from France, you know, America. Right. Okay. So these are the some of the well known novels of him. Okay, right. So keeping this in mind, yeah. And uh, as you go through some of uh, you know the novel, you can very easily see that what is the characteristics of his novel. Okay, and the same characteristic you will find even in his uh, novel like uh, uh, even in his novel like uh, Great Expectation. Okay. Okay, keeping this in mind, let's look at what is given in our syllabus. Great expectations written between that magazine in magazine between eighteen uh, December eighteen sixty two August eighteen sixty one. Okay, right by Charles Dickens and finally published in eighteen sixty one. Okay, right. Uh, we are uh, okay and. Uh, Uh, yeah before uh, we will go for the plot outline let's understand some basics about that or right? even before plot outline i'll tell you uh, i'll try to explain the story in a very simple way okay so you do, you have to understand that all right so there should be no uh, complications right those who already read that in college and all that you know in detail they will not have the difficulty 
okay right so uh, and all other you know strategies of preparation should be kept in mind okay so we'll come back to that right before that uh, just to get some general information about the novel right so this was the cover page when the novel was published first time great expectations right uh, in three volume okay right it was written by dickens in three volume so it is the 13th novel of charles dickens yeah and it is his second novel after david copperfield to be fully narrated in first person narrative so yeah right like the story starts you know first person i sariya i la irukadu i nu solli story eludunadu rendavathu okay right it's not a omniscient narrator appo inga charles dickens great expectation la hero of the novel tells his story avaroda story solrar avaroda kadhaiya explain pandrar sariya right okay like that of david copperfield so first person narration right and it's a buildings roman novel coming of age novel right got it like the, the david copperfield and you know other novels coming of age novel or building roman novel building roman novel and there is a growth okay there is a physical growth emotional growth you know and you know all emotional and emotional and you know moral maturity got it beginning of the novel novel oda character beginning la epdi irupaaru ending la changes nadakum growth irukum seriya sometime most of the time physical growth kuda irukum chinna pullal inda story thodangi irukum seriya right like for example wuthering heights patha maari got it okay appa year year also growth or almost or 22 to 23 years of life or a story irukum so physical growth um irukum of course moral and emotional growth right sometimes moral and emotional growth mattum irukum seriya physical growth illama irukum for example novels like uh, oliver twist right oliver twist just one year or one year one and a half years or a story da right and the kolam chinna payan chinna payan apdi irpar or grow avu matter and a lot of changes irukum okay so that is called buildings roman novel or coming of age novel it depicts the growth and personal development of a orphan named pip right so hero oda peru na pip p i p pip full peru na we'll see to that the novel was first published in a serial form in dickens weekly periodical all the year round so yeah so first time when it was published in it was published in all the year round from 1st december 1862 uh, august 1861 right in a serial form magazine la 15 days kor vaati got it okay people apdi thodar gada mari padichittu varuvaanga right ipo irukla there are some irukku solranga okay right dickens originally intended great expectation to be twice as long but you know he had constraint and they asked them to limit it that's why he reduced the novel's length okay the management did not want very long novel okay but one thing dickens you know the novel shows that dickens maturity as an author okay mature a per the mature time la edunad okay according to gk chesterton dickens spent great expectation in the afternoon of his life and fame right and it was the best of his novels it was a penultimate novel dickens completed preceding our mutual friend okay penultimate na second last sariya so his last novel was our mutual friend aduk modha eduna novel idu it is set among the marshes of kent and london in the early of mid 1800 okay so the novel setting is roughly you know 1812 la rendu 1832 varaikum seriya right from the outset the reader is treated by terrifying encounter between pip and the protagonist and the convict you know abel magwitch we'll see to that great expectation is a graphic book full of extreme imagery poverty prison ship the hulk okay prison ship na hulk the barriers and chain fights to the death okay got it and it has got all okay it all me rip chain poverty extreme poverty mystery gothic characteristics yeah all me rip right and if you look at you know other a lot of dramatic or film screenplay mari eludirpa right that's why dickens oda works la you know oru novel 15 vaati padam eduthirukanga innaikum eduthirukanga pona varsha koda the personal life of charles david copperfield nu or padam vandhuchu seriya right indian origin and the you know that slum dog millionaire lack pannana and the hero da got it okay right so like shakespeare got it a pretty very you know the you know the very dramatic opening i mean you know very 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 interesting one okay if you look at right so that's the way he wrote all this therefore it combines intrigues and unexpected twist of autobiographical detail in different tones regardless of its narrative technique 
the novel reflects the event of dickens time the social concern right and relates the relationship between society and the man the novel received mixed review from critics upon its release thomas carlyle speaks of all that pips nonsense thomas carlyle did not like it he called it all that pips nonsense while george bernard shaw okay 100 years later praised the novel okay in uh, 1900 into uh, to the 20th century he called it all of one piece and consistently truthful dickens felt great expectation was his best work calling it a very fine idea and was very sensitive to the compliment from his friends bulwer who has been as i think you know extraordinary taken by the book yeah that's the way it is guy great expectation is a colorful cast and enter popular culture so yeah right we'll see to that like capricious miss havisham cold and beautiful estella joe the kind and generous blacksmith dry and psychopath uncle pombachuk mr jaggers and vemik right with the dual personality jaggers the lawyer and the eloquent and wise friend herbert pocket yeah in the pair la apdi yavu vechukona okay so many characters idra varuvaanga okay we'll see to that yeah epdi yavu vekkiradhu throughout the narrative typical dickensian theme emerge wealth and poverty love and rejection and eventual triumph of good over evil great expectation has become very popular and is now taught as a classics in many english classes it has been translated into many languages and adapted into many films and other media right okay okay now um, yeah let's look at some of the relationship okay and the relationship nalla purinjukrana right adukapram we will look at the plot okay and there is a flashback also right and i'll tell you the flashback advanced lecture today right because you know it would be better for us to understand that okay right okay we'll see to that what is the flip board of uh, you know the character pick board of full pair and right herbert pocket avare epdi kooprarar seriya right and same way right so let's look at you know pip is the hero of the story okay of this novel he is the hero right got it uh okay before that you know uh, we'll come back to them later yeah first try to understand uh you know some important characters okay we then look at the character here is a able magwitch sorry yeah able magwitch able magwitch is a convict sorry yeah got it able magwitch is a convict and there is a miss havisham okay you can remember the name miss havisham Abel Magwitch, and there is another character, villain, who is not mentioned yet. We can say Compison, right? Abel Magwitch, Compison, Miss Savisham. You all know the past mother. Tell me, girl, lah. After that, we in the present la park lah. Present la we have Pip, girl Stella, right? Matthew Pocket, our our son Herbert Pocket, right? Pip or the sister mrs jo jo's husband that is pipo's brother in law jo gargery okay he is a blacksmith kudra otwar a blacksmith seriya right avanga veetukku help pandradhu or ponnu bidi okay minor character right and jaggers jaggers is a lawyer okay jagger road assistant vemik avar peru inge podala okay right got it அப்ப ஜாகரோட அசிஸ்டன்ட் ஜாகர் பேர் யாவ வச்சுங்க ஜாகர் you know how இப்ப ஜாகர் ஏபிள் மேக்விட் மிஸ் ஹவிஷம் எல்லாமே பீப்போட எப்படி எப்படி you know how they are related okay got it அதுக்கு முதல்ல first we will try to see ஏபிள் மேக்விட் right you can note down compison yeah compison நீங்க மென்ஷன் பண்ணல மிஸ் ஹவிஷம் இருக்காங்க got it இப்ப this the you know part which i am going to say இது வந்து நாவல் தொடங்கறதுக்கு முத நடந்துருச்சு சரியா ரைட் 1812 ல 1812 க்கு முதல்லே நடந்துருக்கும் ஏனா தி ஸ்டோரி ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் ஆன் 1812 ஆன் தி ஈவ் ஆஃப் கிறிஸ்மஸ் got it 1812 24th evening december 24th evening that story will start okay got it அப்ப த இன்சிடென்ட் which i am going to say இது வந்து லேட்டர் தெரியும் okay almost at the end of the novel only இதெல்லாம் எல்லாருக்கும் தெரிய வரும் got it okay particularly hero got it அது இப்ப இப்ப நம்ம தெரிஞ்சிட்டா நல்லா இருக்கும் got it okay so it is better that we try to know that first got it okay so what are the who are the characters yeah you noted down 
okay yes, right so able mag uh, now first understand the relationship between able language and uh, comprehension sariya right okay aduk moda okay able language and comprehension right yeah so first try to know able language right why i tell that you know these characters ivanga vandu romba you know they are the core of this novel they will affect them so much okay right so able magwitch is the you know the character okay he is the you know it is the you know fictional character in this novel so yeah right okay uh, right so uh, able magwitch meets a man known as compesson c o m p e y s o n got it in a very famous uh, what we call you know empson uh, races empson races was a very famous uh, you know a race kudra race kudra race ka romba famous ullad empson race seriya right at the time both of them they become you know close friend at the time okay got it okay compassion vand compared to able magwitch was a very you know very handsome yeah very attractive charming gentleman right he studied in boarding school and the mari irpar seriya very very smart all right but he makes friendship with magwitch got it at the time magwitch vand he had a relationship with an unstable woman seriya a mental woman nu solluvanga right adu evlo evlo mental namalukku theriyadu she was mental unstable her name was molly got it and uh, later you know molly was stood for a trial of a murder seriya that avanga yaru murder pantaanga na or trial varum got it at the time mr jaggers jaggers no lawyer but already on the picture le come to you ungalku jogger jaggers vanda avaroda defend pannuvar jaggers is a very famous defense lawyer okay right he will convince the jury member that she is very weak right molly vand romba weak avanga mental woman avanga yarai adichirukka mudiyadu right strangle pannirukka mudiyadu got it in this way he will save the molly okay right got it right and moggy molly and magwitch ko already relationship irukum seriya right avanga relationship la irupanga right apram jaggers vandu save pannittu enna pannuvaru she will become the maid servant of jaggers right jaggers veetla lawyer lawyer veetla maid servant ah irupanga got it and later enna varuna story la enna theriyum idella past la later solla varuvanga seriya right molly has given a birth to a daughter girl okay that is magwitch oda daughter yeah right and at the time you know she was two or three years old seriya right at the time of molly oda trial but molly told magwitch that she had killed the child okay right okay and moggy magwitch ke kadaisi varaikku theriyave theriyad that he had a daughter and she really died got it so later when the magwitch when the he will make a relationship with compesson ivanga rendu per enna business pannuvaanga na stolen notes okay yeah both of them you know stolen notes thirdu pona kaas irukla adha vandu circulate pandra idu rendu peru rendu le rendu peru irundanga in fact the main main activity was done done by compesson yeah got it compesson the main idella konja konja help panna da magwitch seriya appo rendu perum pudichiruvanga pudichadhu appo enna avum right the trial nadakkaila compesson you know since he was studied and romba smart a gentleman mari irukka mari he you know avaru enna pannuvaru ட்ரையல் வரையில ஒரே லாயரை ரெண்டு பேரே டிஃபெண்ட் பண்ணாம தனித்தனி லாயரை டிஃபெண்ட் பண்ண சொல்லுவாரு ரைட் எதுக்கு அவர் வந்து நல்லா படிச்சது ஜென்டல்மேன் மாதிரி இருக்கிறதுனால இவர் வந்து பார்த்தா பிச்சைக்கார இருக்கும் இன்னும் லோவர் கிளாஸா இருப்பாரு மேக்விச் ரைட் அதுக்காக டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டிஃப்ரெண்டா வச்சு என்ன பண்ணுவாரு இவர் வந்து டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் லாயரை போட்டு அங்க கன்வின்ஸ் பண்ண வச்சிருவாரு தட் நான் மெயின் இல்ல இவர் தான் மெயின் சொல்லி சரி ஆல்மோஸ்ட் ஹி வில் மேக் எ ஸ்கேப் கோட் ஓகே காம்பிசன் வில் மேக் எ ஸ்கேப் கோட் ஆஃப் Uh, magwitch seriya right in fact there is a passage line la solvar look at gentleman god right enna paarenga enna paatha appdi iruka look at he belongs to different world right i belong to different category right or uh, 10 to 15 lines irukum seriya you will completely you know in that sense upon the trial ku apra enna nadakum magwitch is condemned for 14 years of imprisonment seriya got it and compassion ku vandu 7 year imprisonment kudupanga right got it ரெண்டு பேரையும் அந்த டைம்ல என்னன்னா இடம் கம்மியா இருக்குன்னு ஷிப்ஸ் இருக்கும் ஷிப்ஸ்ல வந்து வச்சிருவாங்க ரெண்டு பேரையும் போட்டுருவாங்க 
got it okay seriya right rendu perum anga potruvaanga rendu perum ortar korthu theriyama on the eve of christmas eve they will break away the ship and they will escape escape and they will roam in the marshes of kent yeah rendu perum magwich ku theriyad avar kelambi vandathu compassion ku theriyad ivar kelambi vandathu seriya right we'll come back to this again idukku moda compassion and that uh, uh, what is you know uh, i already told you know uh, lady's name miss havisham yeah avangalukku enna relationship adu therinjukenga seriya miss havisham also plays a very important role okay right so in a way basically compassion was the villain of this novel seriya right compassion vandha enna pannaru you know compassion was in you know uh, compassion you know uh, made a friendship with you know miss havisham or brother okay his brother's name was arthur okay minor character right compassion uh, you know arthur okay yaroda miss havisham oda miss havisham vandha miss havisham and arthur you know they both of them belong to very rich family avanga rendu peroda avanga father vandha rendu perku nalla paathirupanga romba kaasu panam la kuduthirupanga but somehow miss havisham ku romba kaasu kuduthirupanga seriya right lot of money more inheritance was was given to that right appo arthur was not happy okay right arthur wanted to conspire and get all the money which miss havisham got right okay yeah so at the time compassion you know uh, does the activity our love pandra mari love panni he will seduce that woman okay and finally he will agree for the marriage seriya got it okay but before marriage enna panvaru arthur oda bravery irukla and the sara idala pandra company adu vandu kammi cash la miss havishama vaanga vechiruvaru vechittu and the cash eduthittu arthur odiruvaru okay Uh, arthur arthur for what in that sense appo inda madam miss havisham vandu kalyana nadakkum solli she will wait for that right she will every arrange everything on the morning of that okay you know he will write a letter and uh, telling her that he is not going to come okay right okay and he just he will tell her that i don't want to marry you i just be fooled you for this sake got it and in fact that letter vandu kondu poi kuduthathu vandu Uh, in fact it is the letter was given by uh, magwich seriya got it app in the magwich ungar magwich um compassion in the cast business pannuvaangala adukku moda nadandathu right and the letter da kuduthirpaar ad letter naala enna aachu miss havisham ku enna aachu idella magwich ku theriyadu okay what was the letter but just on the gate la potta to kuduthir pora vela okay right app miss havisham enna avum right okay so in that sense you know miss havisham or life completely stop iron okay right everything will stop right the clock adey mari stop airum she will never change the dress wedding wheel cake ellame apdiye vechiruvanga yeah she will never change anything got it and this continue in a way or in the mari anadnala apdiye life la shock aayi mail race ellarai vidakudadu torture pannana mail nale hate அப்புறம் யாரை பிரிங்க் பண்ணி யாரை வளர்த்தாலும் இந்த இந்த ஒரு ரிவேஞ்ச் அதே வச்சு வளர்க்கறதுக்கு ஒரு கேரக்டர் லைக் தட் யோசிச்சு பாருங்க நம்ம ஊர்ல எவ்வளவு படத்துல இந்த இந்த கேரக்டர் காப்பி பண்ணிருப்பாங்க அப்படியே ப்ராட் பண்ணிருப்பாங்க ஓகே அப்ப யூனோ மிஸ் ஹவிஷம் இஸ் ரெப்ரசன்டேட்டிவ் ஆஃப் தட் ஓகே ஓகே யூ சி லூஸ் இன் எ வெரி ரிச் யூனோ வெரி பிக் மேன்ஷன் பட் ரொம்ப காத்திக் மாதிரி இருக்கும் அப்படியே அழுக்கா இருக்கும் ரேட்ஸ் ஓடிட்டு இருக்கும் கவ்வப் இருக்கும் அந்த டேபிள் அந்த மேரேஜ் டேபிள் அந்த Dress கூட மாத்தாம that's the way she would be but she has lot of money that's why everyone would go there okay right and she wanted to take revenge on all men right because how the how compassent cheated her okay duped her got it as far as her brother is concerned he would get that later you know uh, you know he will do something and later he will die almost and at before his death he will feel very sad he will regret for whatever he did to her okay but his brother is um, arthur oda character one the very minor character okay right and compassion and author patti we don't get any reference till we come to the 42nd chapter of the novel okay right got it so in this way it would be there and she wanted to avenge someone right so she had a lawyer the same lawyer advocate that is you know a jagas and jagas knows a man mr known as uncle pombachuk right and before that through jagas she wanted a girl right since menas menas cheated her right the man has cheated her she wanted a beautiful girl got it 
and Jagas will go, give the girl whose girl whose daughter Estelle Estelle that is uh, Magwitch and Molly or the daughter Estella, right? So when the novel begins, Estella and the Miss Havisham Vitla Valathar Brooke, right? Or a six year seven year old girl, right? In eighteen twelve when the novel begins, sorry, yeah, right? Got it? Okay. Later. The pip code anga varuvar, yepri varar, ado nama paakala, right? So here, that's that's the way when we when the novel begins, we see that, got it? And uh, yeah, so that is all about now. And some more to happen, okay, right? So that is the you know the background of uh, Compison and Magwitch, okay, right? And Magwitch Magwitch did not know that, okay? Our tena chuli achi, unga daughter yaran the poichin, yaran the poitanga. Sariya, right? Got it? So this is you know this is the basic outline. Uh, all this happened before the novel starts. Got it? Idhar la papa pippa kuteriya varu, mamy kunda chulvar, Herbert Pocket chulvar. Herbert Pocket was related to Estella, uh, was related to Miss Havisham. Got it? Okay. Now all this how it affects you know alters and changes. And all these people will come to know at the end of the novel. So yeah, right. And this is all our inner learn. Pandra re, this all me. That is the you know crux crux of the story. Later, Magwitch ke na na dakhude. All right. So by the time uh, we can conclude this, what is that? Uh, what is that? Okay. So here when we conclude, uh, Magwitch, right? Uh, Magwitch and Compassion, both of them have been. Say you know, imprisoned in the hulk, hulk, okay, ship nearby in the Kent Marsh. So yeah, and both of them they ran away, right? They were roaming, you know, hiding themselves in the uh, marshland, okay, right? That is uh, the eve of uh, Christmas Eve, okay, December twenty fourth, eighteen twelve. Got it? So yeah, got it. So we'll see to that, right? Biddy or the character Anna, what happens to Mrs. Joe? Right? What was the relationship between Jim and uh, uh, Pip and Joe Gargery? Got it? Herbert Pocket, right? His friend. And there is another man, okay, Drummle. Got it? Who would later at the end of the novel he'll marry uh, Estella, right? Why is, is Estella was like that? You got the hint also. Got it? What happens to Abel Mag Magwitch and what happens to uh, uh, you know Compassion, right? And in this whole process, what is the lesson? What how how the transformation and changes happens in Pip's life? Okay. Right, so this is what uh, the till now whatever said told whatever happened to Miss Havisham and what happened to Abel Magwitch and what happened to Compasson. Either la before eighteen twelve, okay. Either la at the end of the novel and something about Miss Havisham and the poga poga teriye varo. So yeah, right. In this way, the growth and the changes in Pip's character and others' character will happen. Okay, Pip's attitude towards towards Magwitch, okay, also will change. Right. So how it happens? That's all the you know the plot outline we have to see. Got it. Right later, if I say you know you'll you'll get confused. That's why because eighteen twelve couple so many things will happen. Okay, again, Compassion and Abel Magwitch will come back. Right. So before uh, let's look at some more explanation of the characters. So we have four different you know areas of the characters. Okay. So we can say Marsh area group. Sorry, a Marsh na the so called Kentoda Marsh. Sorry, a Marsh na the area lower level than near from up here you know very you know almost you know poorest and poor wall right now. Sorry. Right, so we have a Pip. Hero's name is Pip. His full name is Philip Philip. Don't forget, okay. And another name is Handel. Yeah, Handel. Our watch it. Herbert Pocket will call him Handel. So yeah, right. Look at the very pun on the name Pip itself. So yeah, P I P Pip. Okay. Right. He is the narrator of the story who tells his rise to wealth, his desertion of his true friends for the wealth, and chance with Estella. And is humbling by own arrogance, right? And whatever the lesson he learns at the end of the story, he has learned that wealth does not bring him happiness, right? What wealth? Whose wealth? How he got the wealth? All that we have to see, okay? Right. Next one, Joe Gargery, right? Joe Gargery is a kind by blacksmith married to Pip's sister, who is a moral reference point of most of the characters in the story. Okay, he is a very good man, very upright man. So yeah. Right, upright man, na na, you know, even though our moral reference point, mari, okay, even though our standard, right, tapay panama perfecta in the gitu, all are in pa abir kamari, okay, and the mari moral reference point, all novel lero, ini dah macam kanan buat cila, ya na, ya dale ya dale finally ideal character jodi. In spite of Pip's snobbery, Joe remains faithful and loving to him, and always there with him. 
Mrs. Jo Garchery. Okay, her full name was Jo Garchery and Georgiana Ombria. Okay, Pip's abusive older sister who constantly reminds Pip that what she has done for him. She says that I raised him by hand. Right. Later, she was attacked by Orlik, one of her assistants, and she dies. Okay, got it. Biddy, another character. Biddy. Biddy is the young girl from Pip's night class who helps Pip's sister after the attack and later marries Jo. So yeah. Got it. There was a time Biddy also loves Pip, okay? But Pip won the so much of love in Estella Love Karnala. Pip or Biddy or Love reject Panirwa. Right? Right? Tirpi Tedi Pumar Pip. Okay. Estella put Estella Tirinja the Kapro. And I'll Biddy one the she would have married Joe. Okay. Yana Joe would have wife Mrs. Joe Gargery and the Tanga. She's Pip's early confident and understands him well. Uncle Pomberchuk, right? Uncle Pomberchuk is a Joe's pompous, self important uncle who arranges for Pip to visit Miss Havisham's house. Okay. Yeah. He's the man who takes, you know, who takes uh, through Jaggers to Havisham's house. So, yeah. Right. Got it. Upper Miss Havisham Vandu, or Pona Valatil Draganga, Pona Vachi, Yella, men, men, no hark a bear panana, or heartless woman of Valakana. Up with the real torture experiment yard of a chip under the net. Right, a porchina pina put it war. Choli, jaggers to Cholanga, jaggers, pumper chup to Cholor, pumper chup, we want to put it for war, right? Okay, Nallava, the Peria Palace, right? Gentlemen, so called gentlemen, I la, right? You can belong to the higher class, Choli, people put it for Wanga. So, yeah, Yena Nadaka will see to that. Ogle Orlik, Joe's assistant in the forge, who is responsible for attack on Mrs. Joe and who later tries to kill people also. Mr. Wolves. Right, a clerk in Pip's church who wants to be clergyman but gives up goes to London to be an actor. Okay, these are minor characters. Okay, if a Pip and Joe Gargery in Galler area, Mars area, less slum, la, a prior mass like you know, this blacksmith panigita, Anger Konga, Mr. Trap, the local tailor and undertaker. Yeah, that is one setting. Okay, just imagine over lowest level of slum area, other Yoshunga. Right now, next one, Satis House. It's not Sates, okay? S A T I S, Satis House, right? Satis House Group, okay? Dear Miss Shavisham, the strange reclusive woman who was abandoned and swindled by her fiance on her wedding day. She has raised Estella to extract revenge on all men. Pip assumes that Miss Havisham is his benefactor, right? Okay? Uh, how he assumes that is the question, right? If you go with the popular character, Right, a very famous actress acted the role, right? Is this the way she would always look, right? White, you know, same marriage gown, right? Estella, the beautiful and haughty adopted daughter of Miss Havisham, who taunts and attracts Pip, right? When, you know, Pip's six year older Kaila Povare at the time itself. She does not know that she's the daughter of criminal Molly and Magwitch, okay? She will never know, only at the end. She's trained to be mistreat all men, but after an abusive marriage, she becomes a kind person at the end of the novel. Mrs. Camilla, Mrs. Raymond, Sarah Pocket, Georgiana Pocket, they all are Miss Havisham's toddy relative who pretend to care, right? They are waiting to get all the money, right? She has not enough money, a big uh, big house, a mansion, right? Okay. And they fear that already Stella Stella Konja on the lady could throw. People want to people got a danger, people right? So they see them like a threat. Next comes London Group. Okay, London Group, Mr. Jaggers. He's an immensely successful London trial lawyer, feared by all but loved by none. He tells Pip that his expectation and serve as his guardian, right? Pip had expectations, yeah, that he should become gentleman, educated, and live a very comfortable life. Okay, and he becomes his guardian. He was Magwitch's trial lawyer and Miss Havisham's personal attorney. Okay, Miss Havisham was attorney lawyer and Magwitch was a trial lawyer. John Wemick, the chief clerk for Jaggers, in the office is unemotional, but home, a caring gentleman who becomes friends with Pip. Okay, assistant of uh, Jagger. Okay, Mr. Wemick, remember the name. Molly, the seemingly docile and obedient servant of Mr. Jaggers, who has a powerful hand and supposedly wild nature and infamous past. Right, and what is the past? We come to know at the end of the novel. Sees Estella's mother, and only Jaggers and Wemick know until Pip figures it out. Okay. Yeah, but later at the end of the novel. Mr. Skiffins, Miss Skiffins brother, who helps Pip say, say, set Herbert up in the business, right? We'll see to that, this is a minor character. Herbert Pocket, 
pale young gentleman. Pip first meets him in Miss Havisham's when the two have a fist fight. Okay, Chinna Pulley are killed. Pip over is Stella are come. At that time, the Herbert Pocket over was. You know, Herbert Pocket was the brother, father was the cousin of Miss Havisham. Sorry, yeah, right. Anga Chinna Pulley is under power. Anga that is at the age of seven. Later they will meet after fifteen, sixteen years. Okay. They later live together in London and become best friends. Okay, Herbert is kind, unassuming, and loyal to Pip. Clara Barley, gentle girl, engaged to Herbert. She does not care about noble lineage and marries Herbert after her father dies. Okay, she is a minor character, not much role. Bar Bill Barley, Clara's alcoholic, abusive, bedridden father, who was a former ship pursuer. Miss Mrs. Mimple, the elderly and the kind landlady of home where Barleys live. Mac, which hides there under a assumed name, okay, right? Up a Mazum hides under a assumed name. Idala already narakkala. Inna me narakko. Sorry, Star Trope. One of the young gentlemen being tutored by Miss Pocket. He later helps rescue Pip and helps in Magwitch's unsuccessful escape attempt. Right? Before that, I think I, I, uh, you know, uh, yes, we'll come back to that. Okay, we have not started that. Yes, let's come to that. Convict or related associate. Okay, this is the fourth group. Sorry. Right, convict. Yeah, Magwitch. Full name and now Abel Magwitch. Another name Provis. Another name first convict and Mr. Campbell. All these are the different name for Abel Magwitch. The convict on the marshes who later becomes wealthy in Australia and is the source of Pip's expectations. So yeah, right at the beginning of the novel. This is a very famous caricature of you know Abel Magwitch. Right, he is caught trying to escape England and dies in prison with Pip by his side. At the end of the novel, he is the father of Estella and a former partner in crime with Compeyson, who betrayed him. Right, let's look at Compeyson. Compeyson is the main antagonist of Charles Dickens' novel, whose criminal activity harmed two people, who turn shape much of protagonist Pip's life. Got it? Compeyson abandoned Miss Havisham at the altar and later got made Abel Magwitch arrested. After Magwitch returned to England, Compeyson died after drowning in the River Thames while fighting with Magwitch. Right? How it happens at the end of the novel, we'll see to that. Okay. Arthur Havisham. Arthur Havisham is Magwitch Havisham's younger brother. Right? Half brother was a result of Mr. Havisham's affair with the cook after Mrs. Havisham died. Okay. He's a half brother. She and Compeyson plot against her and swindle her to gain more money, despite the fact that Mr. Havisham had left Arthur enough money. Arthur was jealous that Mr. Mr. Havisham favored his sister and extravagantly greedy with his uh, money. Okay, he's a minor character. Okay, he is subordinate character in the Great Expectation, working with Compeyson. Toward the end of his life, he suffered a paranoia, constantly haunting by sister's supposedly presence around him. He dies of illness caused by the guilt of how he had treated his sister. Okay, and we get the information that news. Yeah, right. So that's all about. Uh, this is the house of Mrs. You know, Shatty's house. Okay, Miss Havisham Oda Palace. This is the Dickens sort of description. Rukla, the put the picture for another very famous painting by a painter. Okay, Victorian painter. Dickens must have in the restoration house. This is called restoration house. Uh, critics say that in the house of the mind lovers, uh, Dickens one the uh, Shatty's house is described for near part. So yeah, right. So that's the very very big house. Okay, very big mansion. Yeah. So let's look at the plot outline. Okay, so right. Um, let's look at that. Right. So keep that in mind. The last what happened on the Christmas Eve around 1812, Pip and often about seven year old is visiting the graves of his parents and sibling in the village church where he unexpectedly encounter an escape prisoner. Right. अब यार मीट पन रहे Pip वंदे on the eve of 1812 Christmas Eve ले first Pip meets Magwitch. सही है. He goes there to pray for You know his father and mother. He's an orphan, right? Our sister Vidya is in the trucker, right? Up a marsh area, all poor. And the marsh area, all magwitch first papa. The convict scares Pip into stealing food and tools from Pip's hot-tempered elder sister. Yeah, may able magwitch will ca capture him and ask him to go, right? And bring a tool. Okay, okay. But our father and our brother, our brother, our children will go. You know, blacksmith. Up here, that is true. I am a call. All that is put up. Okay, that is what a child is like. வீட்ல சாப்பாடு இருந்தா எடுத்து வா பிராண்டி கொண்டு வா எல்லாத்தையும் சொல்வார் ही विल वेट इन द इवनिंग क्रिस ही विल ब्रिंग लेटर या गॉट इट राइट सो ही सेज दैट वी हैव फूड एंड ही ही आस्क्ड टू डू दैट ओके जोगार्जरी एंड ब्लैक्स्मिथ हु हैव टेकन द ऑफ एंड हिम 
on the early christmas morning we presents with a file okay that uh, and the irumba cut pandradhu file pine and brandy okay though he fears being punished during christmas dinner that evening at a moment pips theft is about to be discovered right pip soldiers arrive and ask joe to mend some shackle right okay so adu kuduthu vandruvaru then police trip puli police la varuvanga right indha edathula vandu joe evellathai check pandraka varuvanga seriya right this is a very famous picture of you know how we captured okay when he was doing that this acted this was acted by you know as i told you know uh, charles dickens la you know villainous characters la la semma depth irukum seriya right okay like an oliver twist la irukadu you know uh, you know uh, you know that fagin seriya micawber and uh, you know uria heep in david copperfield appo adhe mari make that's why in the role vandu semma hollywood la ulla very famous famous actors pannirupanga okay right very legends alla pannirupanga the villainous role adhe mari fagin role seriya right so because you know villain na chumma nam oor mari caricature appadiye chumma villain irukkaru or past or depth illama irukkaru so yeah that's that's the beauty of that that's why this is a famous scene okay that we must remember joe and pick it pip accompany them as they capture the convict who is fighting with another escape convict okay thirumbi pogal enna avu police poi irukkala rendu prisoner sanda potturupanga seriya before that you know and the pip kondu poi kudukaila avaru enna kepparu innor prison inge irundittu irukkaru in fact pip poi solluvaru na innor prison paathen appo dhaan magic theriya varum compassion also escaped from the prison house okay hulk lende odi vandaan avarku theriyum later rendu perume sanda potturupanga and the time la police vandu conflict panu yaar ivara kaala vetti kudutha idellathukum right ah pip ta kepanga pip vandu solli kudukka maatar okay ivu potu kudukka maatar pip will save him okay the first convict confesses of stealing avare solvar nane poi ivunga veliye poi irukkela nane idella thiriittu vanten seriya appo pip vandu kaapaathiruvaru adhe mari pip vandu avara potu kudukama save panniruvaru right got it this is the you know the image of ship used as a prison okay right got it appo enna avu both of them right both of them police pudichittu poirum right and one was sent to okay enna avu avara konja punishment kuduthuruvanga same kind of a trial lawyer vachu ivara konja punishment kuduthittu ivara inge vachuruvanga compassion vandu inge da irpaaru okay right and um, magwitch he will be exiled okay he will be exiled to australia seriya australia that is new south wales okay he will be exiled got it this is what happens in 1812 got it a few years pass miss havisham may well the and reclusive spinster who was jilted at altar and still wears her old wedding dress lives in a dilapidated house such as house yeah she asks mr pombachu a relation of gargery to find a boy to visit her pip visit miss avisham and falls in love with estella her adopted daughter right so appo sonnadanal or rich people ka or rich lady kupuranga nalla avanga saapadu poda kudukuvanga education kudukka poranga and pip yenge joe garji yoda pamba you know blacksmith pannikide edhu kashta padana that's why you know joe vandu anpi utruvaru seriya right he will come there yeah at the time you know at the age of 7 right at the time it start itself he started liking uh, you know estella estella was already there at the same time you know albert pocket also he will meet okay estella is aloof and hostile to pip which miss havisham encourages right and she encourages that okay that you know that she almost makes her very cruel during one visit another boy picks a fist fight with pip who easily gains the upper hand yeah and this boy was herbert pocket estella watches and allows pip to kiss her you know cheek afterwards yeah this all this you know when they were some 8 or 7 8 year old pip visits miss havisham regularly until he is old enough to learn a trade okay in this way 2 3 years will pass joe accompanies pip for the last visit when she gives the money for pip to be bound as an apprentice blacksmith okay joe surely assistant all all or uh, dolge or like is envious of pip and dislikes miss joe yeah in this way it would go on okay and here what happens to joe right uh, joe and uh, joe gargery when pip and joe are you know away from house joe's wife is brutally attacked leaving her unable to speak or do work only is suspected of the attack mrs joe changes and becomes kind hearted after that attack pip's former schoolmate biddy joins the house school you know to help with the care right in this way she becomes bedridden and later she would die now biddy has come to help uh, you know joe 14 years into pip's apprenticeship mr jagger a lawyer informs him that he has been provided with the money from an anonymous patron right so in this way the 14 years will pass right and suddenly he will get you know from jaggers a news that 
ஓகே an anonymous patron has given if enough money right ungalku romba kaas kuduthirukkaru ninga gentleman gentleman ah vaandu london la poi high society la vaalanu ungalku kaaga kuduthirukkaru yaar kuduthirukkaru kekkave koodadu right okay allowing him to become a gentleman pip is to leave for london but presuming that miss havisham is a benefactor her first visit sir right pip anna assume pandraru in the in a ben enoda benefactor miss havisham da yeah because this is what you observe that right first mother eduthukitaangala okay chinna pulla illa konjam eduthu nalla paathaanga right narula venan solli anpi utruvaanga in between okay right but still avaru enna nambraaru okay miss estella va paakra mari ennai paakala ivunga dhaan irukalam ena avar paathadhukku enna he is the only she is the only richest one okay and that's why he first visits her right pip sets up a house in london at bernards in where herbert pocket the son of his tutor matthew pocket who is a cousin of miss avisham right so he goes and lives with herbert pocket and matthew pocket yeah right pip realizes herbert is the boy he fought with years ago right but both of them they meet right and by the face and you know they are you know uh, you know they will understand that you know and they will remind themselves that they met them herbert tells pip how miss avisham was defrauded and deserted by her fiance right அப்பதான் ஹெர்பர்ட் சொல்லுவாரு இது வரைக்கும் அவருக்கு தெரியாது என்ன நடந்துச்சு ஏன் இப்படி வச்சிருக்காங்க ஒரு காத்திக் ஒரு யூனோ ஒரு மிஸ்டீரியஸ்ல இருப்பாங்க எஸ்டெல்லா சொன்னதுல யாருக்கும் தெரியாது ரைட்டா தட் இஸ் சின்ன புள்ளியா இருக்க இல்ல ஓகே செவன் இயர் எயிட் இயர் நைன்த் இயர் தெரியவே தெரியாது இப்ப ஆல்மோஸ்ட் ரைட் சம் ஒரு டென் இயர்ஸ் பாஸ் பண்ணதுக்கு அப்புறம் டுவெல் இயர்ஸ்க்கு அப்புறம் இப்பதான் இவர் சொல்லுவாரு என்ன நடந்துச்சு யூ வில் சே தட் ஹவு ஷி வாஸ் டிஃப்ராடட் அண்ட் டெசர்டட் பை அர் ஃபியான்சி பிட் மீட்ஸ் ஃபெலோ பீப்புள் bantley drummel a brute and man from a wealthy noble family another you know kind of a very spoiled child okay bantley drummel he will meet and star pro who is somewhat agreeable jaggers disperse the money pip needs right whenever pip wanted money jaggers would give jaggers was a guardian during a visit pip meets joggers you know housekeeper molly a former convict whom jagger later employed right i think already told you right so he will even meet molly also when joe visits pop pip at barnards in pip is ashamed of him right now look at the changes okay after spending this life pip has started disliking joe right okay joe feels very sad right joe relays a message from miss avisham that estella will be at satis house for a visit right pip returns there to meet estella and is encouraged by miss avisham but he avoids visiting joe he is disquieted to see orlick now in service of miss avisham right okay so he says that how you know orlick has uh, come here and how uh, you know uh, estella you know uh, you know estella has been groomed right he feels somewhat dejected he mentions his misgivings to jagger who promises orlick's dismissal right back to london pip and herbert exchange their romantic secret pip adores estella and herbert is engaged to clara pip meets estella when she is sent to richmond to be introduced into society right அப்ப பாக்குறாரு எஸ்டெல்லாவை வந்து மிஸ் அவிஷம் இந்த மாதிரி அனுப்புறாங்க ரிச் ஹையர் சொசைட்டிக்காக ஷி சென்ஸ் அர் டு ரிச் மென் டில் தட் டைம் யூ வாஸ் அசூமிங் தட் த மணி இவருக்கு எல்லாம் கொடுத்து எல்லாம் பார்க்கறது பெனிஃபெக்டர் வந்து மிஸ் அவிஷம்னு பிப் அண்ட் ஹர்பர்ட் பில்ட் அப் டெட்ஸ் மிஸ்ஸஸ் ஜோ டைஸ் அண்ட் பிப் ரிட்டர்ன்ஸ் டு வில்லேஜ் ஃபார் தி ஃபியூனரல் ரைட் சோ ஹீ கெட்ஸ் தி நியூஸ் தட் ஹிஸ் சிஸ்டர் ஹஸ் டைட் அண்ட் ஹி கோஸ் டு ஃபியூனரல் பிப்ஸ் இன்கம் இஸ் ஃபிக்ஸ்ட் அட் த டைம் இஃப் 500 பவுண்ட் per annum when he comes of age at 21 with the help of jagger's club wemick pip plans to help advance herbert's future prospect but anonymously securing him a position with ship broker carringer right in this way they are planning for the job pip takes estella to satis house she and miss havisham quarrel over estella's coldness right at the time very you know both of them they fight over that okay the coldness okay the arrogance issues in london bantley drummel outrages pip by proposing a toast to estella right so they go for a party where estella becomes very close to drummel later at assembly hall in richmond pip witnesses estella meeting bentley drummel and warns her about him she replies that she has no qualms about entrapping him okay right so estella ve epdi valathirukanga she should love the rich man okay though him our rowdya romba wrong brought up kuda irukalam okay so she hates she looks at pip almost like a village boy okay she never give importance even at the age of 7 also okay she discourage and that's the way esther estella was brought up by miss havisham so here also pip tells her that you know this boy is not good is very arrogant but in spite of that she takes interest only in bantley drummel a week after he turns 23 year old pip learns that okay now only at the age of 23 he learns that his benefactor is yare 
யாரோட காசு வச்சு உள்ள நாள் ராயல் லப் வாழ்ந்தது ரைட் இஸ் அன்கவுண்ட் தி கான்விக்ட் ஹி அன்கவுண்டட் இன் தி சர்ச் யார்ட் ஏபிள் மேக்வேஜ் ரைட் இப்போதான் தெரிய வருது who had been transported to new south wales after being captured yeah and there after going to new south wales he becomes very wealthy okay he started doing ship you know ship uh, uh, you know uh, sheep uh, sheep grazing and many other activities he did that and he earned lot of money okay able mac beach right 1812 and in the time varaiku 1812 and imagine panninge avula 12 years 1824 got it so in this time and in this time whatever the money earned id ellame yaar kuduthu irundirukkaru ivarkaga edukaga because during that time chinna pulliyar kele he helped him okay right and second uh, pip looked like his own daughter okay that's uh, you you looked at you know like his own daughter in the age of his daughter that's why he did that and he promised you know he did that you know uh, no one should know okay that was the promise to mr jagger right avarku yaarku theriyapadadu he has become wealthy after gaining freedom there but cannot return to england on the pain of death right he, but he cannot come to england seriya but still he would come that is the question however he returns to see pip who was motivation for all his success right before his death he want to see him right because he felt that he did not see his you know his daughter he want to see at least his son how he looks and how he has become yeah that that is what it is pip is shocked and stop talking to mag which man you know taking mag which money he and hubbard pocket devise a plans for magwitch to escape from england right in spite of that he stopped digging he felt very you know guilty right okay and his attitude towards magwitch vandu eppa maarum ipo da right magwitch shares his past history with pip okay at the time only magwitch vandu ipo solvar na ungalku beginning la sonnad ellathai magwitch ipo da solvar yaatta pip right appo pip vandu idu varaiki na convict oda kaasa vandu vandittu irukadhu indha opinion konjam maarum seriya right he will change seri now how to escape from here and in that he will get the help of albert pocket and he will reveal that you know the escape convict whom he fought with the churchyard was compassion and the fortster who had deserted miss havisham right at that time only people also will realize that the compassion was the man who convict and who cheated even miss havisham right so in this in the in the other now is past history ellame solvaru whatever happened you know that they brought up the kudra velandathu you know money gain pannathu and the share la pannathu right and how different different lawyer convert eppadi escape aananga and how he was sent to you know uh, you know all that story we pretends to set his house to visit estella and meet brantley dumul who has also come to see her now orlick as a servant we accuses miss avisham this is the first time he will accuse her for why why did you mislead i was thinking that you are my benefactor right okay he will you know he will be very angry with that she admits to doing so but says that her plan was to annoy her relatives right app when pip pip started assuming pip on the other time le enna solvaru grateful ah irpar ninga evlo evlo pandreenga miss avisham vandu reject panna matanga na edhume pannaliye na unakku help pandran illaye she will allow him to assume that belief okay that you miss avisham da kaasu kudutha ellam pannit irukanga right இது இப்போ என்ன சொல்வாங்க ஜஸ்ட் டு அனாய் மை ரிலேட்டிவ் ஓ மை என் ரிலேட்டிவ் எல்லாம் என்னோட காசு பத்தி இருக்காங்க அப்ப நான் ஒன்னு வளர்க்கறது இந்த மாதிரி தெரிஞ்சா அவங்களுக்கு நல்ல டார்ச்சர் ஆகட்டும் அதுக்காக தான் ஐ கண்டினியூட் லைக் தட் பிப் டிக்ளேர்ஸ் இஸ் லவ் டு எஸ்டெல்லா நவ் ஹு கோல்ட்லி டெல்ஸ் இம் தட் சி பிளான்ஸ் ஆன் மேரிங் ட்ரமல் ஹார்ட் ப்ரோக்கன் பிப் வாக்ஸ் பேக் டு லண்டன் வேர் மெமிக் வான்ஸ் இம் தட் காம்பிஷன் இஸ் சீக்கிங் ஹிம் ரைட் ஓகே ரைட் நவ் காம்பிஷன் ஆல்சோ யூ நோ கேம் டு நோ தட் யா இவர் ஆஸ்திரேலியா போயிட்டு இவர் இங்கில பனிஷ்மெண்ட் கொடுத்தாங்க எயிட்டி டுவெல்ல காம்பிஷன் தெரிஞ்சிச்சு காம்பிஷன் த்ரூ வெமிக் என்ன பண்றாரு ரெண்டு வேலை பண்ணுவாரு ஒன் இது தெரிய வருதுன்னு சொல்லிடுவாரு காம்பிஷன் என்ன நான் உன்னை தேடிட்டு இருக்கேன்னு சொல்லிடு ஜோவ ஜோ ஒன்னை தேடிட்டு இருக்கேன் உங்க தட் இஸ் ஏபிள் ஏபிள் மேக்விஜையும் தேடிட்டு இருக்கேன் ரெண்டாவது இ வில் இன்ஃபார்ம் போலீஸ் ஆல்சோ ஓகே சோ பிப் அண்ட் ஹர்பர்ட் கண்டினியூ ப்ரிப்பரேஷன் ஃபார் மேக்விஜ் எஸ்கேப் ரைட் அட் ஜாகஸ் ஹவுஸ் ஃபார் டின்னர் வெமிக் டெல்ஸ் பிப் ஹவு ஜாகஸ் அக்வாய்ட் இஸ் மேஸ் சர்வென்ட் மாலி the skewing her from the gallows when she was accused of murder right already chollirukala adu ipo dhan vemik vandu pip ku idala solluvar right ipo dhan solli avaru solluvar that maggie is the daughter of uh, maggie estella is the daughter of molly then full of remorse miss savisham tells pip how the infant estella was brought to her by jagas and raised by her to be unfeeling and heartless she knows nothing about estella's parentage she also tells pip that estella is now married okay so this is you know he will he, again he will meet her he will you know ask for that okay and uh, somewhat she will feel you know sorry for that okay 
she gives up with money to pay for herbert pocket's position at carinker and asks for his forgiveness yaar miss havisham right and she will be very sad also finally she will ask for forgiveness but pip was about to leave miss havisham's dress catches fire right okay and pip almost saves her okay and she almost gets injured okay right later she will die yeah up to on, on the spot she will not die okay and the process pip will also get injured she eventually dies from her injuries later lamenting her manipulation of estella and pips right this what she has done to them pip now realizes that estella is the daughter of molly and magwitch when confronted about this jagger discourages pip from acting on this suspicion right after few days magwitch planned escape pip is tickled by an anonymous letter into going to the silius house near his home old home where he is seized by orlick who intends to murder him orlick freely admits to injuring pip's sister right so orlick not just killed his sister but here he wants to kill pip also right as pip is about to be struck by hammer herbert pocket and start to arrive and save pip's life the three of them pick up magwitch right so now magwitch they want to take magwitch to a nearby ship from there he can escape to germany and from there he can go to australia right so they take you know all of them they take uh, uh, take up magwitch and row themselves to a steam steam boat to hamburg but they are met by police right and police police was brought by campison who offered to identify magwitch right avarku enna exile panalena sonanga australia la thirumbi varakudadu ana avaru vantaru seriya appo thappu pantaru seriya magwitch seizes compassion and they fight in the river okay the steam boat right steam boat cross panni periya boat la poyittu anga nan prag but on this spot padile pudichiruvanga seriously injured magwitch is taken by police yeah and compassion body is found later got it now uh, his body he is died but uh, magwitch is seriously you know injured right even otherwise magwitch a capture panni he will be executed that was the plan right but anyway he escapes from that yeah but at least for time being he was seriously injured pip is aware that magwitch fortune will go to crown after his trial yeah till now pip was getting all the money and all the property and money of magwitch it will go to the government okay so that uh, that is for you know to the crown but herbert who was preparing to move to cario Egypt to manage Carinka's office there offers Pip a position there, right? Now Pip can the cast some pass. This may not the benefactor boy Ache got it, right? So Herbert Pocket tena chora re. Let's go to Egypt. Egypt la boy will do the business. Okay, I'll give you the officer post there. Pip always visits Magwitch in the prison hospital as he awaits trial. Got it? Okay. Now his opinion about Magwitch has completely changed. He goes and meets him because the trial was going on at the time. He tells Magwitch. in his you know magwitch in his death bed that his daughter is estella she is alive and he loves her so much okay this is the last good news which mr magwitch gets and before he dies after herbert's departure for cairo pip falls in uh, in lin's room and faces arrest for debt however jo nurses him back to health and pays off his debt right jo is brother in law again he comes back and helps him when pip begins to recover jo slips away right without informing him jod goes back right now he feels the feels rejected that she is going to estella is going to marry drummel uh, herbert pocket has gone to australia uh, egypt okay magwitch is going to die yeah and now he decides to go back to his mars land he pretends to propose to bitty only to find that she has already married to jo we pass jo's forgiveness right why in the time la ella romba arrogant ay romba kaasu pano in the high society vandadukaprom adha marantan jodi he felt very sad for that and asked for promise and he says that he, you know he'll go back he'll go back to egypt and he'll earn money and that's this is what he says he will repay whatever he got from jo there he shares lodging with the herbert and clara and eventually advances to become third in the company right before that magwitch also dies okay yeah when Uh, when magwitch uh, you know hospital la paathirukka uh, time da actually you know um, uh, she will die okay miss havisham also got it so he becomes finally he becomes third in the company third important position only then does herbert learn that pip paid for his position in the farm right there he learns after working 11 years in egypt pip returns to england and visits jo bidi and their son right after 11 year got it now imagine again right almost uh, 18 Uh, to 23 24 to 11 year got it 1830s okay yeah right now they are married and their son is named after pip pip junior then in the ruins of satin house satis house he meets the widowed estella who asks pip to forgive her 
Got it? Now she has become widowed, right? Assuring him that misfortune and her abusive marriage to Drummond until his death has opened her heart. Yeah, she tells him that he was a very abusive, romba kurchita adipar, romba torture panare, and finally he died. Okay, and after his death only, I have realized my folly. As Pip takes Estella's hand and they leave the moonlit ruin, he sees no shadow of another parting from her. Right. This is the last line of the novel which the Charles Dickens wrote. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, in fact, before that, you know, uh, you know, uh, two endings of this novel. So yeah. Original ending lenna idwarna. When he comes back, yeah, uh, he will meet Estella. Estella when the north of Kalyan bunny settle ayro. So yeah. Adu na abar idhi par. But some of the close friends of Charles Dickens they wanted evil torture, evil suffering. Kanga kunja poetic justice kudu kano. Right. Kunja hope kudu gaya. அவங்கள அவங்க பேச்ச கேட்டு என்ன பண்ணாரு ரெண்டாவது எண்டிங் எழுதுனாரு அதுல இ கிவ்ஸ் பட் ஸ்டில் அம்பிகியஸ் இவங்க கல்யாணம் பண்ற மாதிரி காமிக்கல நோ ஷேடோ ஆஃப் அனதர் பார்ட்டிங் ஃப்ரம் ஆர் அவங்க விட்டு செப்பரேட் ஆக மாட்டேன் தட் டஸ் நாட் மீன் இனவே அவர் என்ன ஹிண்ட் கொடுக்குறாரு இவங்க ரெண்டு பேரும் இன்னும் க்ளோஸ் ஃப்ரெண்டாவே இருக்க போறாங்க சோ இட் லீவ்ஸ் டு தி ஆடியன்ஸ் டு அஸ்யூம் க்ளோஸ் ஃப்ரெண்டா இருப்பாங்களா இல்ல ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஷிப் டெவலப் ஆகி லவ் பண்ணி திருப்பி கல்யாணம் பண்ணுவாங்களா சோ திஸ் வாஸ் தி லைன் ஓகே got it so that is the last line of the in this way we are assumed to we are made to believe that they become closer okay but whether they married or not it's not this is the way the novel ends got it and this edition the changes from the 1867 edition la dhan varum seriya adukku modha vande first publication la enna irukum by the time he comes back from egypt okay after 11 years avanga vande thirupi kalyanam pannirupanga there are many important critics those who say that first ending was genuine and correct ah irundhuchu second ending vande and victorian mindset la நம்ம ஊர்ல இருக்காங்களே ஹீரோ ஹீரோயின் மீட் பண்ணி என்ன சம்திங் லைக் தட் ஓகே அந்த மாதிரி தான படம் எடுத்தாங்க அதான் ரியாலிட்டி என்ன இருந்திருக்கும் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் எண்டிங் தான் ரியாலிட்டி இருந்திருக்கும் ஓகே லெவன் இயர்ஸ்க்கு அந்த இன்னும் இதெல்லாம் அந்த சான்ஸ் நடக்கிறது ரியல் லைஃப் நடக்காது ஓகே தட் வாஸ் த ஒன் ஓகே ரைட் ஓகே ஃபைவ் ஃபைவ் மோர் மினிட்ஸ் வில் கம்ப்ளீட் த தீம் ஆஃப் தி நாவல் த வெரி டைட்டில் இஸ் ஓகே கிரேட் எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் சரியா யா அப்ப என்ன எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் லெகசி டு கம் இப்ப என்ன அசியூம் பண்றாரு என்ன லெகசி லைஃப்ல என்னென்ன இருக்கு எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் ஓகே எதர் த்ரூ மிஸ் ஹவிஷம் மேக்வேஜ் இவங்க எல்லாம் சரியா லைஃப்ல என்னத்தை நான் அச்சீவ் பண்ண போறேன் கிரியேட் எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் லைஃப்ல இருக்கு அதுதான் பேசிக் மெயின் அபவுட் தட் காட் இட் ஓகே சம் ஆஃப் த அதர் தீம்ஸ் ஆஃப் த நாவல் கிரைம் சோஷியல் யூனோ ஆல் யூனோ த சோஷியல் ப்ராப்ளம் இம்பீரியலிசம் அம்பிஷன் எட்செட்ரா யா காட் இட் அண்ட் ஹவு பிப்போட க்ரோத் ஹவு வி ரியலைசஸ் தட் காசு பணம் எதுவுமே இல்லை ஒன் சைட் ஜோ காசு பணம் இல்லாம பெக்கர் மாதிரி வாழ்றவங்க வித் சோ மச் ஆஃப் லவ் த அதர் சைட் ரிச் பீப்புள் கார் இட் அண்ட் வாட் த மனி ஹஸ் காட் அண்ட் கிவன் ஹிம் ரைட் கிரேட் எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் கண்டென்ஸ் ஆல் சச் கேரக்டர்ஸ்டிக் பில்டிங்ஸ் ரோமன் காத்திக் நாவல் மிஸ் ஹவிஷாவோட கேரக்டர் யூனோ த வீட் எல்லாம் அப்படியே ஒரு காத்திக் செட்டிங் தான் சரியா இட் இஸ் ஆல் திங் மெலோ ட்ராமா காமெடி சட்டாயர் so we can say themes like ambition and self improvement okay the moral theme of great expectation is quite simple affection loyalty and conscience are more important than advancement wealth and class seriya right they can establish the theme and source pips learning this lesson largely by exploring ideas of ambition and self improvement got it an idea of self improve improvement right how we learns that okay and what are the changes he, you know he, he goes through the development psychological development that is all about okay at heart pip is an idealist whenever he can conceive of something that is better than what he has he immediately desires and abstains okay when he sees that his house he longs to be wealthy gentleman when he thinks of his moral shortcoming he longs to be good when he realizes he cannot read he longs to le- learn how pips desire of self improvement is the main source of oh, title okay expectation yeah okay self improvement life level expectations are called the great expectation title because he believes that possibility of advancement in life he has great expectations about his future okay again social class the novel deals with so many other classes okay we have magwitch criminal poor peasant in mass country like joe and biddy joe gargery middle class like pumblechoop and very rich women like miss havisham okay so england english time lo la naal social class oda people makkal oda life he describes that the theme of social class is central to novel's plot and ultimately the moral theme of the books book pips realizes in that wealth and class are less important than affection and loyalty finally he learns not just he even estella learns so yeah pips achieves this realization when he is finally able to understand that despite the esteem in which he holds estella one social status is no way connected to one's real character like as we saw in the character of drummel 
on the other hand upper class right he was belonged to upper class but magwitch a prosecuted convict has a far more inner worth than drummer or others so yeah right this is the most important thing to remember about the novel statement of social class is that class system it portrays based on the post industrial revolutionary model of victorian england okay after 1780s yeah in the you know mid of you know the height of victorian uh, industrial revolution so yeah dickens generally ignores the nobility and hereditary aristocracy in favor of characters whose fortune have been earned through commerce even here miss havisham's fortune was made through the bravery that is still connected to her manner so yeah that is the bravery sarai the not the adoda money got it in this way by connecting the theme of social class to idea of work and self advancement dickens subtly reinforces the novel's overarching theme of ambition and self improvement okay right so that's all about the themes remember that this concept you know this uh, criticism was there edward said criticized it okay this convict avangaloda uh, egypt la work pandrathu apram comparing magwitch oda life idha vandha enna solrarna charles dickens vandha and the time la victorian time la you know imperialism ah promote panirukkaru okay adu onnu perusa illai appo irukkara promote panna maari dhaan irukkaru post colonial critical theory discuss panna illai idu varum seri edward said oda view two ending yavu vechunga the first ending la enna she has remarried okay after becoming widow right first ending but many critics like edward bulwer and lytton right they describe that that's why he has changed to new ending dickens revised the ending for publication so that pip meets estella in the ruins of satis house she is a widow and single this change of the conclusion of the novel did not quite either end with final weekly part or the first one but only in 1868 version right he says i could see the shadow of no parting from her and slightly changed bunny i saw no shadow of another parting from her meaning now avangaloda na separate aara mari enak theriyala seri adoda shadow kuda theriyala appo inda separate na na friendship ah love adha kuda ambiguous ah dhan vidraru right but the first one was that and later second one da irunchu but we must know the both okay right got it before publication several of dickens friends suggested that he change the ending to something kind of a reconciliation dickens made the change apparently with some reluctance but dickens was not happy seriya so, yeah. right george orwell wrote psychologically the latter part of great expectation is about best thing that dickens ever did but many others you know they feel like george bernard shaw says uh, the first was more good right and modern criticism la idra dispute irukku seriya right okay we are correct ah irukku sorry right there are many novels you know uh, dickens sort of follow up adoda sequel and prequel mari right okay adhe story vera vera maathi maathi irundha novels la irukanga right it has influenced so many novels there are so many versions of that okay that's not maybe not important for us okay right so that's all about great expectations okay right you can go through again and if you have got any doubts you can ask me right please go through and uh, yeah that's a non detailed one but still it's very you should know that yeah, that's enough right okay then thank you thank you